So yesterday, some of you might have seen that I had a swarm 15 foot up in a tree, which I wanted to capture. And I didn't have a ladder long enough, I'll be honest. I didn't want to go 15 foot up a tree chasing a swarm. And I could see the swarm was hanging in a kind of pendant shape towards the end of a branch. So I needed something to capture them in. And I made this, and this is the cheapest simplest swarm bag you could imagine. We have a standard pillowcase, obviously not one of my best, not that I have any best, and what I have done, or what I did yesterday in an emergency, is I made some slits going all the way around and wove a little bit of garden wire through to hold the top open. What I've done now is we've done a little stitching job around the top on the sewing machine, make it a more permanent feature. And you can see what that gives us is a lovely bag with a hoop. It's just a little bit of garden wire. This is a leftover from the job yesterday. And that I attached onto the top of a washing line pole which is what about eight feet tall so then you have oh, I don't really see it from here a bag on the end of an eight foot pole a little a-frame ladder and get the swarm inside the bag carefully had to snip a couple of the uh, couple of little branches out the way small ones and when you've got the swarm in big shake bomb 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 bees in the bottom of the bag I'd say it took me five minutes to make and save me a swarm which might not have uh, been coming back there we go thought you might like that.